what I'm going to do is show you the process that I've gone through already with creating a track and I'm going to show you how I can correct both pitch and the timing of a bass track and a guitar track. This is kind of the first time I've really put this to use. So if you are someone who doesn't do this full time, you're not very well practiced or uh, you know you just don't have time to to lay down the perfect track and it can also you know if you put down a track which is pretty good but they're, they're just maybe something there that you want to tweak it's really nice let me just play a little snippet of, of the track this is before I fixed it <laughs> Now you may recognize immediately that there's some there's some pitchy pitchiness with the guitar there and also the timing of the bass is not that great. So rather than spend much more time to to go and try to correct those things what I decided to do was give this Melodyne a shot and what you do is uh, you select the track I believe you select it there the bass is selected and uh, go down to if I double click that I think that's what you do Okay, so if I double click that, then it brings up the editor, which you may be familiar with if you've uh, used Mixcraft and select Melodyne. Uh, what I want to do is, since this is, this is a bass, single line bass, I'm going to go in here, click on Edit, uh, I'm sorry, Algorithm. Click on Algorithm and say Melodic. And it's going to do, it's going to process this again. And now it's come up with this orange these orange things here so I'm going to make this a little bit big right there so now I can see what I'm doing here is I'm holding down both the control and the alt key uh, I guess that would be command alt in on the Mac and I can just drag this around that'll work for us right now so first of all let's just take a look these these are the measures so these these lines here are the measures and you can see how that first note is it's pretty close to the to the beginning of the bar here we've got ba bum that should really be over here in line with that bar over there and you can see how the timing is kind of a little bit off so what I want to do is I'm gonna go to this let me see if I remember now okay so it's along the top here we have a number of options and one is to correct the timing this one it look, says um, quantize time macro okay so I'm going to select that one and then here is where you can go in and you can select to what kind of division you, you want to set this I'm going to pick quarter notes here I could say auto and and it's probably going to do a good job in fact let's just try let's just try the auto so if I pick auto I drag this thing here's the intensity now we should be able to see some movement on the timeline and see what's happened there so it looks like look it, it's it's kind of put these notes right at the beginning of the bar if I back it off again you can see it move back you can see it right there right here those notes that were a little bit off from the beginning of the measure it puts those with the quarter notes I'm going to say OK on that one and then we'll take another listen and perhaps we're going to notice a difference all right so here we go now there are some other instruments that are a little bit off too so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo that track along with the drums and let's play that one back again so you can see that it's done a good job of of, of really tightening up that bass part now I'm going to take a look at the slide guitar track and if I scroll down to where that is on my uh, timeline here here's the slide you can see I've done a few few attempts at that um, the last one I thought that's enough 
Uh, I don't really have time to practice and make this perfect, so uh, I'm going to use Melodyne. So I'm going to click on the slide, double click on the slide, and that's going to pop up over here. I was already in this before, so uh, it's actually already processed that. And if you just look at the algorithm, it's set for melodic. So I've already done that. So if we look at this, let me just play this first part. I can get that cursor there. Pay attention to that note right there. Now, there's a few errors in there that I am not happy with. And the first one is right here, this note. And then there's another note over here where the timing is a little bit off. So I'm going to do this manually. What I'm going to do is, if you just listen to this, that was supposed to go up a little bit higher. So if I grab that note in the middle, that's supposed to go there. So. All right, so that's that's much better. Now there's another note over here. Now really, I wanted to start that on, it should be on that count, I believe. I can just grab this and drag that one over, I believe. Let's see. Let's see if that works. It seems to be snapping to quite a high value there. Uh, I think what I need to do over here, see where it's got that uh, that quarter note? Okay, so here, I think I can change the snap values here. Let's see if that works. Um, yeah, okay, you see the number of lines between each one of these measures? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so now I can go back. Let's try going back to there, how that sounds. If we just play that one again, so that's what that's done is that's corrected some some of these things. Now some of these other notes are, are a little bit off. So what I could do is the same thing as before. I could click on on this. Um, what do they call it again? Perfect pitch or correct pitch macro. And first of all, you see that that's red. Um, I would need to say, I'm going to do a control A. I suppose that's command A on the Mac. And uh, I'm going to click on correct pitch. And let's just see if you just notice some of these notes. That's a little bit off right there. Uh, these seem to be off right here. So they're all a little bit off. So if I drag this one over, we should see something happen. Right, so it's brought them all into line. So I'm going to try this again. I'm going to say OK first and click on over here. Now that's much better. That's much better than I played. So uh, that's a way you can fool people to, to uh, thinking that you're a better player than you really are. So that's how I was able to use Melodyne inside of Mixcraft to correct guitar and bass. So hit the like if you like. And if you want to hear more from me, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Stay tuned and look forward to seeing you soon.